My name's Aubrey, and I'll be leading your warm up today. So I thought to get started, we would just do about a minute of jumping jacks, and then we'll move into some stretching, and we'll go from there. All right. So if you want to bring your stopwatch with you, or a phone timer or something, let's get right into it. So we'll start with our jumping jacks. So we're just gonna go up and down, just to kind of get some blood flowing, get your body's moving, feeling good. I know these can be really high impact, um, so we can stop and we can do tap outs instead. These are a little easier on our joints, a little easier on our knees, can kind of help us feel better. All right, and we have about 30 seconds left of these. We just want to get our heart rate up, get everything moving. You guys look awesome so far. Really focusing on our breathing through this, really just trying to get started before we move into our actual warm-up. All right, and give me 15 more seconds, and then we're gonna move into some arm circles. Remembering we can do these actually jumping or just the tap outs. Great job so far. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now for our arm circles, you're gonna wanna have some space, and we'll go in, for about 15 seconds. Really focusing on our breathing. We can feel our arms start to work. Perfect, and let's switch the other way. We'll rotate back out, just to kind of get our upper body moving a little bit. You look good so far. Great job. All right, so now let's move into some chest expansion. So we'll take our hands in the middle and we're gonna bring them back out and then back to the middle, just to kind of start opening up our chest, opening up our airways. You guys look awesome. We'll do this for about 15 more seconds. And then we'll move to some stretches for our obliques. Great job. So making sure we're breathing through this. We want a slight bend in our knees so that we don't actually pass out. Great job so far. All right. And let's switch now into our lateral bends. So we're gonna bring our arms up and then we'll bend over to the side, feeling this nice stretch all along um, the side of your torso. Great job, we'll hold this for about 10 more seconds and then we're gonna move and do that to the other side. Great job, it kind of works your core a little bit too, which is always nice. All right, and back up to the middle, big breath in. And let's bring it over to this side, feeling the stretch now along this part of our body. Getting it all nice and stretched out. You can hold your hand if you want and kind of pull on it. Sometimes that feels really good. Great job so far, you guys. All right, we have about seven more seconds. And then we'll move into some um, upper arm stretches. Great job. And three, two, and one. All right, so now we can kind of shake it out. So we're gonna take one of our arms, I'm gonna take my right arm. We're gonna bring it back behind our head, take our hand and pull down on our shoulder, our arms or our elbow. This will get our triceps kind of stretched out, get our shoulders a little stretched. Really feel good, we can feel the stretch in our upper body, um, our upper back. And we'll hold this for about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna to switch to the other side. And we'll do the same stretch on that side. Great job so far, still making sure we're breathing. We can add in some walking steps if we want, just to kind of get our heart rate still moving, make sure our body's not going into rest mode. Great job. And now let's switch sides. Awesome job, you guys. <laughs> really feeling that stretch in our arms getting your upper body kind of ready for whatever workout you have planned after this. Looks good so far. Great job. All right, so we have about 15 seconds to go, and then we're gonna move to a shoulder stretch. Great job so far, making sure we're still breathing. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. So still making sure we're stepping. We're gonna take whatever arm you started with. So I start with my right. 
So we're going to take it and pull it across our body and then making sure we don't put our other arm on our elbow. We're going to pull that so you can feel the stretch right in here, right in your shoulders. And we'll hold this for about 30 seconds as well. Great job so far. All right, we have about 20 seconds to go. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Making sure we're just still moving, keeping our blood flowing, getting all ready for our workout today. Great job so far. And five, four, three, two, and switch. So we're gonna take our other arm now, still avoiding our elbow. We're gonna pull this one across our body. Make sure we just feel that nice stretch. After this, we're going to move into a forearm and bicep stretch. That way we can really feel nice and stretched out. All right. We have about 10 more seconds. Great job so far. Still focusing on our breathing, standing up tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So now, still walking. So we're walking pose. We're going to take our hand again and this time we're going to pull it down straight in front of us, um, kind of bending our hands back, not to the point of discomfort, just to a little resistance. Um, this will stretch your biceps and your forearms. It's a little hard to feel if you aren't sore already, um, but I promise I've done it when I am sore and I do really feel it in my bicep. All right, great job. We have about five seconds and we'll switch sides. Three, two, and one. Great job. So now we're going to take our other arm, pull it down just the same. I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds. After this, we'll move into some leg swings, and then we'll do two yoga poses before kind of getting into more of the strength part of our workout. Great job so far. All right, give me five more seconds. Five four, three, two, and one. Great job. So we can kind of shake out our body. I know stretching can sometimes make you feel a little stiff. So for leg swings, you can totally feel free to hold onto a wall or something. We're just going to swing out and in and do it this way. Or if you want the balance, you can also just try balancing. Um, it's a little more, there's more intensity that way. So that can be good. All right, and let's do about 10 more seconds. And then we'll switch sides. All right, in three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. We're really just trying to open up our hip flexors, get our abductors and adductors moving here. You're doing awesome. All right, and we have about 10 more seconds on this side. Great job so far. In five, four, three, two, and we're done. All right, so now we're going to come into Warrior One and Warrior Two pose. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring one foot forward. So, I'll step forward, kind of into a lunge, and we'll bring our arms up. So, from the side, it'll look like this. Bring our arms up nice and tall through our chest. This is another great balance exercise. We want our hips to be open. We want our toe to be off the ground, chest up. This will help expand our muscles, work our upper back. Great job. All right, we have about five seconds. And then we're gonna shift into warrior two. All right, in three, two, and one. So for this, you're gonna pivot your foot out to the side and then look straight ahead. Um, so your foot, your back foot is now going to be facing forward and then your leg will still be forward. And we're going to do this way and look out to the front. So making sure we're breathing. You can feel this kind of working our inner thighs a lot, um, our hip flexors, our pelvis. We can feel it in our arms and our back. Make sure we breathe. All right, I'm gonna do five more seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides. Three, two, and let's switch. So now you're gonna take the other foot that you didn't do last time. 
so for my nose my neck we'll start with that one out really up and tall breathing through we want to be centered here we'll hold this for about 15 more seconds before pivoting again into our warrior two pose and then after this we'll move into some of the strength parts great job so far you guys just keep breathing through it feel your heart kind of rising with our exercise all right and let's switch making sure that our knee is not overshooting our feet so that we kind of protect our knee joint looking forwards um we want to be nice and tall just keep breathing through this great job so we have about five seconds and then we're going to switch to something else in three two and one awesome job all right so now we're going to move into some bicep curls so you can do these without weight um which is how i'm going to show you so you're going to take your arms and just curl we're going to do this for about 30 seconds and we'll go into some tricep extensions if you want a little more intensity totally feel free to pick up um a really lightweight but since it is our warm-up we want to make sure that it's not like super intense or anything super heavy all right so now we're going to move into some tricep kickbacks in five four three two and one great job so we're going to take our imaginary weights or again you can add light weights we're going to bend other hips keep your back nice and flat a little bend in our knees we're going to bring our arms and go straight back then you get the elbows, you can tense your triceps and you go back, really start to feel those muscles working. Great job. And we have about 10 more seconds of these. Okay, in three, two, and one. So now we're going to come into kind of a plank position and we're going to do mountain climbers. So we're going to bring our knees forward for these. Here's the side view. If you want a little more intensity, you can totally pick up the pace, go a little faster, get your heart rate rising, or you can go slow. We'll do these for about 15 more seconds. And then we're going to rotate into downward dog just to give our core and our upper body a little bit of a stretch. All right, in three, two, and one. So you can come to your knees if you need a break. Otherwise, let's go up into downward dog. So we're going to go up. We want our toes off the ground. You know, it's a little hard to see. Um, we can pedal our feet back just to stretch out our calves. Lean back through our shoulders. Get that upper back stretch, our shoulder stretch. Great job. About 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go into some push-ups. Great job, you guys. Really focusing on our breathing here, not letting our heart rate get too out of control. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. So we're going to move into our push-ups now. You can do them on your knees, which is how I'm going to show you, or you can do them on your toes, just like that. But so on our knees, we're going to cross our legs. We're going to go down. Keeping our back straight, our head straight. We're gonna do three more. Awesome job, you guys. Making sure we breathe in when we go up and out when we go down. All right, and give me one more strong one. Awesome job, way to get through those. So from here, we're gonna stay in our tabletop position and we're gonna do cat cows. So when I say cat, we go up and breathe out and when I say cow we go down and breathe in so cat and cow this way we're really just focusing on stretching out our back we can feel that tension kind of going away in our rectus spinae our upper back our shoulders right, let's do two more great job you guys awesome job so far okay so now since we're already in this position, we're going to go to some core called, um, they're called bird dogs. So you're going to take one arm and the opposite leg and bring it out and then back in. 
and bring it out and back in. We'll do this for about 30 seconds. This is really good for your obliques, um, your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis, just kind of your entire core. We can feel a little bit in our glutes and our shoulders as well. Great job. So about 10 more seconds. And then from here, we're going to go into some hip abductor and adductor exercises. So five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now we're going to do some clamshells. Let me move this so you can see a little bit better. Okay, beautiful. So we're going to lay on our side, stack our hips on top of each other, our knees, and then we're going to open them up wide, bring them back down. If you want a little more intensity, you can do these with resistance bands, put the bands around right above your knee or um, like right under it. It just makes it a little more challenging. So we'll do this about five more seconds and then we'll switch sides. Great job breathing through. We can really feel our abductors and adductors working. All right, and let's switch. Okay. And then same thing on this side. Really making purposeful movements with our body. Great job. All right, and then from here, we're gonna go onto our back. And we have two more exercises on the ground, and then we just have four more um, standing, and then we're done. Great job, so five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna rotate onto our back now, and we're gonna do um, glute bridges. So, you're gonna lay down on your back, and then you're gonna bring your pelvis up, squeeze your glutes at the top, and then lower it back down. If you want, you can also put a really light weight on your pelvis, um, just for a little more intensity, but again, since it's the warm up, you totally don't have to. All right, so about 15 more seconds to go. Great job so far. We can feel our core being engaged as well. We can feel our hamstrings working a little bit. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're gonna stay here and we're gonna work our obliques with these things called penguins. So you're gonna take your arms, you're gonna reach for your toes. If you want a little more intensity, you can move your toes farther out so it's more of a reach, or you can move them back in closer. Great job so far. We have about 15 seconds, really working our core muscles, getting our obliques in there, our rectus abdominis. These are really easy to hold your breath on, so make sure you're still breathing. All right, and five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. So now we're gonna get up. We're gonna go back to our standing, and we're gonna finish up with some squats, calf raises, lunges, and then one more final stretch. And we're almost done. Perfect. So let's get into our squats. We're gonna do these for about 30 seconds. So using our glutes at the top. If you want a little more intensity, we can squat a little deeper. If you want a little less intensity, we can squat less deep. It really depends up to you, it's your workout. Great job. All right, and five more seconds. Three, two, and one. So now we're gonna move into some calf raises. So we'll go up. And down. We'll do these for about 15 seconds. Just as kind of a nice little breather between our squats and our lunges. All right, in five more seconds, and then we'll move into our lunges. Three, two, and one. Great job. So for lunges, we're going to do 30 seconds alternating. So we'll put our hands on our hips, step out, and then um, step out. Great job. Again with these, making sure our knees are not overshooting our hips or our feet. Um, these are a little tricky with balancing as well. 
Is it doing great? Let's do one more. Beautiful job. All right, awesome. So now to finish up, we're just gonna do one more quick stretch. So we'll take our knee, we're gonna pull it up into our body. You can balance on the wall if you want. And we're gonna let it go. And pull up and let it go. And that's our warm up today. I hope you feel nice and warmed up for whatever you have going on. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.